We're heading deep into the forest for our next stop on this Congo adventure. The dirt track is the main road to Kinshasa. It's a tough place to get around. Just four hours from the nearest town takes you back in time to meet people living off the forest. The pygmies of Boyanga village perform a good luck ritual every time they go hunting. They're looking for wildlife and useful plants along the way. They block animal holes and use smoke to force them out. A century ago, the Belgian king Leopold II, who owned the Congo as his personal colony, found something in the forest worth a huge amount of money, rubber. This white sap from the wild rubber vines could be made into tires. The pygmies were made to collect it. Some of those who didn't collect enough rubber had their hands cut off. Up to 10 million people died under the regime of King Leopold. The brutality inspired the first international human rights campaign. Leopold was forced to hand his colony over to the Belgian state. Only for the exploitation and brutality to continue. It was the Belgian Congo until 1960. Pygmy communities still live a very traditional way of life. But the forests are being cleared for farming, animals are scarce, and they still feel like they're treated as second-class citizens. So where would you like to go next? to the former president's ruined jungle palace in Badalite, or upriver to go extreme fishing in Kisangani. <laughs>